So did the new law require Gallatin County to change how it uses staff? Yes. Uh, yeah, the, the continuous count uh, rules that we have now means that we cannot shut down the count in the middle of the night, uh, typically uh, in the mid AMs, like 2.33 AM, we would shut down our count, take, pack everything up, tabulators, ballots, everything, and put it in our vault and lock it all up for the evening uh, and come back at 8 o'clock in the morning, start over again, um, just because our whole regular crew is is uh, very very tired and you know we don't want to make errors and uh, the productivity goes way way down because we don't have our temp workers uh, to to process uh, ballots for the tabulators and so this new rule uh, kind of forces us to uh, continuously count and so how we're doing that is uh, we did get a uh, grant from through the Secretary of State for Hava, Hava funds that allows us to hire additional people uh, to just work that graveyard shift uh, in, in the middle of the night. And so we have people that are coming in between 10 and midnight on election night to, uh, to assist with all these processes, uh, being the you know, ballot verification, uh, ba the ballot processing and opening processes, and the tabulator uh, operators. And so those processes hopefully will continue at a, at a good rate throughout the night so that uh, you know, we can really uh, hit, hit it hard and maybe get done it by noon on Wednesday instead of you know, 9 o'clock at night, a Wednesday night. Yeah, um, thank you. And so will results come out differently than they have in the past? Um, a little bit. You, you probably won't notice a difference uh, right up front. You know, the first results I'm uh, thinking that will probably come uh, like 11 o'clock-ish or maybe even later. Uh, we're seeing longer lines this election than we've ever seen before leading up to the election. And so I'm thinking that maybe on election day th those lines might be longer than we've ever seen. Uh, typically, you know, we have about a four-hour line, three to four-hour line, and it might be like up to six hours. Uh, if that's the case, we might be into Wednesday morning before we're releasing results. Um, I, we're going to have more people working the counter at that time. Um, we just don't have the room in the office to be able to do that right now, but we can, when the county is not open for business, we can expand into other uh, offices. And actually, this room right here is going to be where people are voting on Election Day. So we're, it's, we're going to shift it around about how we're doing things. But so the results themselves, um, you know, the first results will come out when the line is done. And so whenever that is, be great if it's by 11 o'clock. Um, it could be later. After that, we're required to report every three hours, and we've done that uh, in the primary election, too. So that, that wouldn't be new. Um, and we have to upload to the Secretary of State first before we release it to the public. And so we'll do that. We'll upload it to the, to the Secretary of State's website, and then we put it on our website and give paper copies to all the press and uh, candidates and people concerned about issues here at the courthouse. And we do that on, in the first floor lobby. That's where we release results. Okay, that makes sense. And um, what should people expect to see when they're looking for results on election night? Right. So it's those it's those three places, right? It'll be on the Secretary of State's website. It'll be on Gallatin County's election page, and it will also be on uh, in paper version for people that are present here at the courthouse. You can always provide a paper copy. Awesome.